Hey everyone, I'm gonna tell you about what happened to me this weekend. This is how I actually look like now. I don't know if I actually look like an alive person. Where, where should I look? Taking my bag again. Opening the door lock. We actually have two, you know, just in case. Let's go, babies. I have those, you know, dark circles under my eyes now. And even my concealer doesn't help, for real. Like, I'm sick now. I probably have COVID. Like, I'm not in contact with anyone. I'm just throwing my garbage away and waiting for my mom. Because she told me she's gonna come home right now from there. I'm not sure, though. Yeah, this is actually what it looks like. Um, the summer house zone. My best friend from the USA always say, always says that I am wrong by saying that it's like summer house. It's like a cottage, cottage. I don't know if, what it's called. Oh, and I'm filming myself now without my gimbal. And someone's gonna probably look at me now. Let's check it. We're just checking it, you know. Is he looking at me? Of course he does. He is. And so. This is what it looks like. What I actually wanted to tell you guys today was that I'm sick. Yesterday I had this high fever, which is right now too. Like, I'm so freaking hot. I've never been that hot. <laughs> For real. I'm like, I just took some medicine that like lowers your fever. And I feel better. That's why I've decided to like go throw away my garbage and I'm still waiting for my mom. That's why I'm not going anywhere. I'm not leaving it here. Um, and so, fuck, I'm even like, it's hard to speak. So yesterday I got food poisoning. I had all of those symptoms. I'm not going to tell you what exactly I had because you probably understand, you know. And today, finally, I woke up feeling so freaking fresh. I was like, damn, I'm alive. But then I understood that it's all just a foolish shit. That I believed in because after that I felt like my fever is rising again and I already promised my friend to come to her birthday party today but I didn't of course I didn't like what how am I supposed to come if I have a fever right what if I have COVID or something uh, why don't I go to the hospital yesterday I wanted to go there like at night I was so freaking I felt so bad like my fever was about 39 degrees by Celsius, which is crazy and so i was like yeah i'm going but then my parents told me like if you go there right, right now um it's like a it's not a traditional um it's like just it happens in russia that well covid uh covid is here um you have to stay in the hospital for 21 day which is crazy like until you're fully recovered and it doesn't matter if you have a COVID, actually. <laughs> uh, you know, if they need, if the doctors need it, they probably will just write down that you have a COVID and you'll stay there for 21 days. I'm actually not sure it's true. I've heard about it, like, uh, that it happens sometimes for the statistics, you know. But <sighs> still, I'm not sure. I, for real, I hope that I don't get COVID because I've been... Uh, I was in Moscow a couple of days ago, like... The day before yesterday before all of that shit happened to me and i felt so great i was like having fun i've met my nephew and my best friend um i was like happy and all and then i came home i was like while driving home with my mom here she is by the way someone's coming here so while driving home i was like so you know i had a stomach ache and after that i actually knew that it's true that the new COVID uh, symptoms are stomach ache and like all that stuff. So that was awful. Здравствуйте. So yeah, my mom's coming here and that's my math teacher. I just video see my Oh, that's my mom. So, huh? I got disturbed by my mom. <laughs> We're actually going there right now together. Mom, say hello. Hello. <laughs> See how beautiful she is. She's so great. 
She's the best mom ever. Я говорю, что ты очень красивая и что ты uh, самая лучшая мама в мире. Yeah. Правда, так говорю, что не правда, что ли? Yeah, She's like, I'm not, I'm not. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, if you go to the hospital in Russia with any symptoms, um, like with any infection, they probably will uh, let you stay there for 21 days, which is something I don't want to do. And my mom yesterday, she said that I shouldn't go there because I'm gonna <laughs> stay there for 21 days, which is not good. Well, what if I'm better tomorrow? So that's why I thought, well, let's see what happens tomorrow. <sighs> So yeah, yesterday I felt really bad. I wanted to go there, but then I realized I shouldn't. And today I still have my symptoms, but not the toilet symptoms, you know? I don't go to throw up again. Thanks God, because I actually did that five times in a row yesterday. That was crazy. And I have all of those symptoms like yesterday. Today I only have this sneezing and uh, the fever and just my throat hurts so I don't know if I'm gonna stay alive but I hope so hope it's not COVID and why don't I go to just a doctor not like to stay in the hospital it's because in my town doctors are that kind of people who don't really know what they do sometimes I'm not sure though I don't use the medicine system in Russia that much but when I'm in Moscow I feel like it's great there, like doctors there are highly qualified and they can help you with... So I just took my mom's phone and I was supposed to say that doctors in Russia are like that. This kind of camera, I guess it's weird. Is it better guys? Should I buy iPhone 13? I actually should earn money for that first. So. When I had COVID in February, I went to the doctors and he said that, well, you don't have anything, anything like COVID, you know, you're fine, go home. I was like, I have COVID, I feel like it is. And I asked him to give me um, the opportunity to have a test, to get myself test tested. And my mom's looking at me. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm always like... <laughs> uh, so... So he didn't even like t tell me to go get tested and that's what I feel like weird in my country and in my town especially. I'm not saying about the whole Russian um, medicine community but in, in my town it's not that good you know. Going through the doctor who uh, heals infections in my town. Здравствуйте. 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 Вау. Вот это мэч. Я как раз говорю про ковид. I'll tell you one more story that will probably make you feel like how are you still alive in Russia. So I was in a business camp. I was about 17 and I probably went there already being sick as I felt like but I couldn't do anything with it because it was my dream and I was like well there was no COVID before that like it was in 2019 <laughs> so it was a great time to go somewhere being sick like no one really su suspects you in being coronavirus -ed. I just found the new word <laughs> and so I felt so bad there but I was so happy to be in that place. You know, long story short, I was bullied at school and I couldn't be myself. And when I got a chance to go into this camp with such inspiring people, I was so happy to be there. <laughs> I didn't even notice that I was freaking sick, that I was literally dying. My fever was about 40 or something Celsius. And when I came home, I went to the doctors and she said, ah, first, first I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> I was in this queue, I was having such worst, like in the worst symptoms in the world, like I was <coughs> dying, <laughs> literally people saw that, people in the queue I mean, they were like, well, you should probably go first. So I went to the doctor, uh, it was like the kid's doctor, because I was under 18, and she said, well, you should wait until, until, I didn't close the door. I didn't close the door, mom is gonna be mad at me. So you should wait until it's your turn. 
I was like, for real? I'm literally dying. She was like, yes, you should wait. I went out. People looked at me like, what happened? I said she didn't allow me to go to her, ca to her office, to her cabinet. I was so, so mad at her. But I didn't, uh, you know, I felt so bad that I was like, please just help me whenever, you know. And my mom, why she asked me to go to the doctor after this camp, because she saw me so, looking so bad, like even worse than now, but I'm covered with makeup now. So <laughs> you probably don't see me sick. Um, don't, don't feel like I'm sick, but I am. And after I actually took my visit to this doctor, she said that, well, you should go home. It's, it's all right, you're not dying. I was like, okay, I went home and my symptoms got worse and worse every day. After two or three days, we called ambulance, like the emergency, you know, she came, this, this exact doctor came to me and said, like she said it to my parents, she must be taken to the hospital right now. And I was like, you couldn't think about it like two days ago when I was not dying yet. So I came to the hospital and, and by that time there was no COVID, no problems like with that. Um, people didn't stay there for 21 days. They were probably like, go there at the day, daytime. They took some shots in their butt <laughs> and they went home. For me, uh, the doctor said, you should stay at night. I was like, why? She was like, cause you're bad. You're probably gonna die today. I was like, thank you, <laughs> noise. And after that, I stayed, stayed there, not for 21 days. I stayed there for a whole month in the hospital. That was insane. Thanks God I had my computer. I actually had to prepare for my exams, which is the worst thing to tell about. But I'm gonna tell you later if you want. Just tell me in comments, okay? And what else? What else, what else, what else? And I was just staying there. I probably won't find any videos or photos from this hospital, but if you guys need me to find <laughs> or want me to find some, I will probably do my best to find it. Because right now I just promised myself to post this video and tell you about like Russian health system <laughs> and how they actually uh, heal diseases in my town and sicknesses. And how I, about how I feel, maybe someone really misses me. Tell me in comments if you miss me, because I missed all of you guys. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your activity on my account, on my profile and on my channel. I'm so happy to have you. <laughs> like, I can't believe I'm gonna post three videos in a row. Like, that's gonna be the third one. I'm posting weekly at the same day. That's insane. So thank you so much for visiting my channel. If you didn't know me, now you're gonna know me and know about me more. My name is Liana Leroy and I'm talking about Russia, especially in those times. So see you later.